a welcome to my youtube channel and if you're new here karibu karibu sana you so you're so much welcome so guys it's more of a story time but uh in the meantime i want to show you how uh, i'm applying my nail polish this is colorless and i mean i call it colorless i don't know how you guys call it let me try to zoom hey this camera can disappoint god whom did i offend Okay, that that is it this is it i don't know be, be nice so which has refused to, to nini so uh, i'm going to be showing you how to apply this so in my previous video i did i i put uh inner or all dye on my nails uh, you know because i'm so lazy when it comes to doing nails so i prefer put, doing uh putting this because it normally takes long it goes off uh it takes time i can say yeah so uh maybe you can able to learn from me uh if you are that kind of person who doesn't have time to go to the salon and do your nails and uh, maybe it's not your thing yeah uh you can just try to do this this is um how they are but i'm going to apply this colorless to just make them look much much more better yes so i was telling you a story on how uh, i worked for some indians yes and uh what happened was um i was working there as a first i i got a job as a sales as a sales person uh, we were just selling things from the shop you know yeah that is what we were doing and then as uh, we went by uh, I got promoted I, I worked as a, I was promoted to a cashier now in that shop in uh, for that specific uh, Indian guy I can say uh, he had many shops here he had like uh, one two three four he had like four sh four to five shops that's what he had and uh he used to hire indians a lot of them in in, in those shops to, to act like uh, the managers to act like the um, the cashiers and then uh they would hire the africans uh to work as maybe uh, sales uh, sales uh, agents or sales persons or even to work as cleaner or messenger those kind of things so at uh, first i got a job as a as a sales person and then later on i i got promoted to a cashier so let me tell you uh one i was the only black person that was working as a cashier in that shop in all the shops i was the only 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 black person that was working as as a cashier in all the shops in one of the shops so uh those guys uh those indians they used to gather and then they used to do uh, some deals in the shop and then they they used to do how how can i call it i don't know how i can call it but yani they used to steal from the guy so <laughs> they used to steal from the guy so what happened was uh i think he got to realize that um uh, maybe uh they were stealing from him and then um they once tried to put up a sales a cashier person uh who is a black okay who is not an indian and then um they set him up and then the the guy was chased yeah i can just imagine those indians this this those indians who were working as the managers and then as a cashiers as uh, leaders in those shops they set one of the guy up and then the guy was was chased so when uh, my fellow people got to know uh, of course uh, those black people the Af 
we can't go to know that I was promoted to a cashier and then they knew it was not easy to be a cashier in those shops because uh, when when you're a cashier it, or it felt like you are a threat to those other Indian people because there is no way they, they can't combine and steal with you they are afraid you may uh, turn against them and then uh, report them to their boss and then maybe they can be chased so uh, the best way they could do was to chase you out or set you up and you get chased out so me me i knew the whole thing and i was like you niggas for me it is not me who was promoted but by, by the way me i'm very prayerful i'm very prayerful and uh, in everything i do i always trust trust god so i told me when uh, my my friends were like ah, Alice, you have to be careful uh impossible you wouldn't have accepted for you to be promoted uh because those guys will make you lose the job uh they can't allow you be in that seat because you know they you're going to be a threat to them uh, there is no way they're going to steal from from there because they used to use the system like let me assume something uh the the company uh, knows that um this item is uh, meant to go out at uh, 10k but uh or maybe at 8k they can still give or even uh yes 10k or even 8k that they can they can give so what what they used to do was if they sell something at that 10k they will sell it at 9k or they will sell it at 8k or um what they could also do was even to sell it higher than the price and then and then for them they put 10k in the cabin they detect the, the difference someone might it may not look like stealing to some people but for me i take it like it is stealing look at my nails so uh, i was trained it was not easy they didn't want to train me they but me my, my brain was so high so i was an easy learner besides i did i did accountancy uh, so it was really easy for me to you know to get to know things i knew about computer so it was really easy easy for me to know so what happened was um i was i was now transferred from my previous shop to one of the shop and that shop they, it, it was not working well at all it used not to make sales like i think okay it used to make sales but you know that shop had two indians and all both uh, both both indians um each one wanted to uh eat from the shop so they they used to get a lot of a uh, lot of issues they could report each other this one doing this such that uh, one can be a cashier they all wanted to be have the position as of a cashier or sit in the seat of money whereby you know of course you when you sit there you're able to chang changa and then uh, uh at the end of the day uh, go out with uh, maybe a, a 2k or a 5k you get that yeah so um they had issues and uh they had to take me to that shop first of all it was not making sales so um that that boss spoke to me he told me uh, i'm taking you there and i want you to make a difference i was like okay now uh, and then uh, the other thing uh, of course uh, my fellow friends told me you have to be careful and then this shop doesn't make sales so you have to try your best otherwise uh, you might even lose the job because those guys might really really set you up i was like it's fine so i began i began working and uh the first 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 month so uh, the first month wasn't bad we made um there was a difference in the shop and um uh, truth be told is that i was taken to that shop and i was still put on probation uh, meaning that uh if things are still the same way I, I was going to be put uh taken back i was going to be you know demoted 
to a sales person so i made a difference uh, there was a quick 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 all there was a change in the performance in the sales yeah i i can say that and uh, what happened was hey guy i'm not good at multitasking like if i'm telling a story i'll, I'll either tell you a story or i'll stop doing what i'm doing and then tell you so um things went on well uh, but uh, as the more we worked uh, the more i got the pressure i got the pressure on my end uh, those guys began setting me up uh, sometimes I, I used to sell a stuff and then uh, you know like sometimes when I could um, go out like shortly maybe to buy something and uh, or maybe or maybe go to the loose by coincidence if they make a sale they would not they would not like put that cell in the system so it's almost uh, made me lose my job so I, I got scared I got scared and um, I, I left I, I left the company uh, because uh, you know just imagine uh, waking up uh, one morning and then you taken to police uh, that you you know you been stealing items from the shop uh, because everything was put in the system and, and then uh, what that woman did uh, she put that item in the system but she removed the cash from this from the from from the from the drawer so meaning that uh, when balancing it it was showing that I sold an item but there was there was no money so the good thing is that uh, one of my colleagues saw her uh, doing that and uh, she's the one who told me it is her who has done that and you have to be careful. So I realized, man, this is going to cost my life. It was going to cost my life and, uh, you know, I had, I had to leave the company. But what I want to tell you is, when I was in that shop, uh, I made double or I can even say triple profit in that shop now um, sometimes uh, yesterday I was telling uh, one of I was telling people on, on, on my whatsapp that some of you are too blessed some of you are too blessed that everything you touch or every, everywhere you go or if, even where you stand all whatever you put your hands into turns into a blessing you get it so uh, and I was also telling people that there are so many companies that are prospering because of only one person because of only one one employee employer or employee they are kids playing outside you get you get what I'm saying uh, like there are some companies whereby uh, that specific company it is growing or it is increasing every day because of only one person now that might be you it might be you and uh, uh, maybe uh, some of you you don't have uh, businesses to, to do you don't have uh, capital um, you don't have you know I, whatever you can like you don't have you don't even have any business idea that you can do some of you are even uh, afraid of doing any business like you're just afraid and yet you are too blessed that the blessing the blessing upon you is able to sustain someone's business <laughs> and how much more how much more if you had your own business or how much more if you had something of your own let me tell you if god has blessed you if god has blessed you even if you start uh, however small it is you will see yourself uh, 
going from one step to another to another to another to another because uh, they won't be anything like um, struggle I can say okay they, they may be there but they won't they may they may not affect you as that much because you are destined for greater things so now when I left the company uh, months after I left the company I, I of course I, I, I had to look for something better uh, on my end uh, plus I had to uh, run from those people because if I had stayed there longer um, I would have been arrested for being called a thief and yet I'm not that type of person who would steal from someone so I, I left the company not because I wanted but because uh, I, I, I felt like if I stayed there longer fine uh, th there was a difference when I was there uh, there was a, an extra a change uh, in sales an extra change in, 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 in the targets we were hitting targets monthly uh, compared to the previous years uh, the shop had been uh, since the shop had had been opened yes but uh, I had to leave because you know I thought like man I was going to be <laughs> to be taken to police for something I had not committed I can say so what I'm t I want to tell you is that shop a month after I left it closed yeah it closed it closed uh, because uh, after I left uh, one of the uh, bef before even I left uh, one Indian left uh, because the other Indian was a black uh, she used to blackmail him so he left and uh, and and he was still uh, the boss uh, took him to some other project so uh, I was uh, it was now me with this Indian who who now began uh, who had uh, begun uh, stealing money from the shelf and then uh, putting it on me that you know I sold an item and money is missing yeah so um, when I left now it was hard to take over so now she was able to steal well she was able to do everything in the system she was able to you know she was able to to do everything without anyone asking her why are you doing this because you know she was the cashier so months after i left the shop closed so what i want to tell you is as i wound up this video because it wasn't a long one it, i wanted it to be short but you know i wasn't able to do that because i'm not able i'm not good at my task i want you to think about doing something of your own it could be uh selling something it could be you know think about a small business that you can do think about it could be an online uh, business uh lay up lay a plan uh, think about uh, something small you can do and how you can start and uh you start start with what you have start with what uh, start with what you have and uh trust me uh, if you are consistent and uh, if you give it time uh, you will see yourself going from one step to another so um, that was it for this video uh, it was a story that um, at the end of the day I wanted you to learn something good out of it and uh, my point still remains that some of you are too blessed uh, that with the kind of blessing that you have on your life um, some people are prospering just because of you some people are, are, are going from uh, level to level from one glory to another glory just because you're just there so just imagine if you start if you began something of your own just just imagine if you began as you how how big how much more would you or how big would the business be or how um, how how far would you be you get it yeah so of course I don't mean that like business is a calling for everyone but there are so many things that you can do that can uh, add an extra income that one thing that can add an extra income or make a change in your life is what I'm talking about
yeah so that was it for this video i hope you learned something from it uh, i was trying to put a polish on my nails and i hope you like my nails uh if you want to know how i did this um i used inner i uh, know not inner i used um dye uh to to put this black and then now i've been applying the nail or colorless on my nails don't they look amazing See you in the next video. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Bye.